Assalamu uh, alaikum dear students uh, this is Shamshad Ali uh, Department of Technology Saraj University today we are going to learn about the file groups uh, file capacity Kason peers and well foundation this is our week fifth lecture fifth uh, level fifth semester or the BSc civil engineering technology you can access this port this lecture at portal.su.edu.pk so let's begin firstly we will learn about the single piles versus the pile groups Rarely, however, is the foundation likely to consist up of a single pile. Generally, there will be a minimum of two or three pile under a foundation elements on footing to allow for misalignments and other and uh, and other and advent eccentricities. Building codes, the Chicago Building Code, Section Thirteen. 132 120 states a column or peers supported by pile shall rest on not less than three piles may stipulate the minimum number of piles under a building element mean that in a foundation there will be minimum three piles the following figure present some typical pile clusters for illustrative purpose only since the designer must make up the group geometry to satisfy any given problem. This is basically the figure in which we learn the geometry of the piles. But it will be suggested that designer must make up the group geometry to satisfy any given problem mean the geometry of the pile group will be depend upon the given problem the given load if we see in this picture there will be three piles as mentioned here we have four four piles here we have five piles six piles, seven piles, eight piles, nine piles. The figure A suggests for isolated pile caps. If we have an isolated pile cap, the dashed line represents the pile cap. And the second picture B or foundation one. If you want to make a foundation wall then you have to make such kind of geometry like this one like this one and like this one. but as we have learned the geometry of the pile will depend upon the given problem in the given load the properties of the soil the the, the properties of the load so moving on vertically loaded pile groups pile which were vertically loaded in a group we will learn about those piles which are in group and that they were vertically loaded when several piles are clustered it is reasonable to expect that the soil pressure produced from either side friction or point bearing will overlap as we have learn in the soil mechanics the pressure bulb which is being created beneath the foundation if the pressure bulb of the two piles of the, uh, the two adjacent foundation overlaps each other then that may cause some kind of settlement some causes some kind of failure the superimposed 
pressure intensity will depend on both the pile load and spacing. And if sufficiently large, the soil will fail in shear or the settlement will be excessive. I mean the settlement may be occur or the shear failure fail in shear. Shear failure will be excessive. The stress intensity from overlapping stress zones will obviously decrease with increased pile spacing. However, large spacing are often in practical sense of pile cave is caused over the pile group for the column base and or to spread the load to the several pile in the group. I mean you cannot uh, uh, increase the spacing of the pile. After that you may have to uh, install the pile cave. And due to that it means to, to spread the load to the several piles in the group. So basically the pile cave have, uh, uh, will, will, will be used to uh, to distribute the load uh, to the pile group. Vertically loaded pile, pile group are here we have discussed. Okay, in this we will uh, explain that the, the stress intensity from large spacing are upon in practical sense of pile cap, uh, pile cap is caused over the pile group or the column base and are to spread the load to the several pile in the group. So if we can see here we have the top view, here we have some kind of stresses. At this the four piles contribute to the stress in this zone, in this zone basically. Three piles contribute to the stresses in this zone. Two piles contribute to the stresses in these zones basically. So basically this is basically a pressure bulb has been created beneath each pile. In a group here they can overlap with each other and here they can overlap each other like here. Stress surrounding of friction pile and the summing effects of a pile group. This is basically the effects of the pile in group. If they would vertically load it. Now we are going to learn about the efficiency of pile groups. When several pile uh, when several pile birds are attached to a common structure element term a pile cave the result is a pile group. If you want to construct one pile, another pile, another another then you have to join them monolithically then you have to provide some pile k to a common structure so the pile k is a common structural element from a pile k uh, k the result is a pile group this is basically a pile group a question of some concern is well, uh, whether the pile group capacity is the sum of the individual pile capacity or something different either more or less. The point is that the overall capacity may be termed as the single pile capacity or the single pile capacity may be termed as the overall pile capacity. Here if the capacity is the sum of the several individual pile contribution the group efficiency E into G means the group efficiency will be equal to 1. Remember that the capacity is the sum of the several individual pile contribution. If we see in the numerical value here we have in a numerical form the group efficiency will be equal to the uh, group capacity as Meyer. This is basically the group 1 group uh, group capacity as Meyer. It will be in kilonewton or kips. 
and summation of the individual file capacity above. So the result will be always one point zero. Moving on to the next topic that will be that is called the caissons. The word caisson is derived from the French caisson, which means a chest or box. From the name, it is clear that caisson means a chest type, a closed type, a box. When applied to foundation engineering, it describes a prefabricated hollow box or cylinder. It is sunk into the ground to some desired depth and then filled with concrete, thus forming a foundation. Caisson is a type of box shape, hollow box shape, which will install into the into the earth, and it has been excavated, and then it is, uh, and then it will be filled with concrete, so forming a Foundation. Caisson have most often been used in the construction of bridge piers and other structures uh, structure that require foundations beneath the rivers and other bodies of water because the caisson can be floated to the job site and sunk into place. As you can see in this picture, in the left side of the picture, this is basically the overall structure of the Caissons. This is basically the water here, the water here. This is basically the workspace as you can see here. So this is basically this portion is basically here and here as well. Pressurized air supply and uh, personal access tube, air lock, and this is the workspace, and the muck tube, and the ballast with here you can see that this portion basically this is the caisson installed caisson in the ground then it has been excavated and now this will be filled with the concrete so bombing a foundation types of the caisson the first one is the open caisson an open caisson is one that is open to the atmosphere just like this this is open to the atmosphere they may be made of steel or reinforced concrete and normally have pointed edge at the bottom to facilitate penetration in the ground mean that uh, its edges will be pointy edges so that it can easily install and easily penetrate into the ground pneumatic caissons when the excavation inside open caissons extends well below the surrounding water level, water flowing into the bottom can produce a quick condition in the soil. This is most likely to occur in clean sand and is caused by the upward seepage forces of the falling water. Here you can see the working chamber, access shaft, water, concrete, door, a log in door. This is basically the water level. One way to counteract this problem is to see the bottom portion of the caisson. You have to see this portion and fill it with compressed air. This is basically the compressed air. So if you push the air to downward, then uh, the water cannot access into your caissons. If the air pressure equal to exceed or exceed the pore water pressure, very little water enters the excavation, thus eliminating the seepage forces and the potential for quick condition. In addition, the required pumping uh, costs then become many. I mean, if this pressure increases the pore water pressure, then a little bit of the water can access into your Caissons. So this type of caisson is called in metric caissons used in the in the in the foundation of piers mostly. 
Now we have come to another topic which is the PS. Probably you may be familiar with this uh, terminology. A peer foundation is a collection of large diameter cylindric columns to support the superstructure and transfer large superimposed loads to the firm strata below. It stood several feet above the ground. It is also known as the post foundation. These are basically the piles as we have learn about these piles then to make this whole pile group is one structure element you have to install the pile caps and after that a post foundation which is called the pier should be installed this is basically the pier and after that to make this whole structure monolithically you can install the pier cap and after that you will install some kind of um, beams and girders and etc. So this is basically the piers, a large diameter cylindrical column to support the superstructure and transport large superimposed load to the firm set up below. Types of piers, so the masonry or concrete piers according to the type of material used in the pier. We have two kind of masonry or concrete piers. Masonry or concrete piers depend on the level of the stratum. If a good bearing stratum exists up to 5 meter, masonry piers are used. If the, uh, if the beneath soil have a higher bearing capacity, then you have to install the masonry piers. If they are at a, at a, at a depth of 5 meter. The size and the shape of the pier depend on the nature of the size, depth of the bed, and etc. Drill caissons types of pier. Drill caisson. Drill caisson usually refer to the cylindrical foundation. A drill caisson is largely a compressed member subjected to an axial load at the top and reaction at the bottom. There are three types of drill caisson concrete caisson with enlarged bottom caisson of steel pipe with concrete filled in the pipe caisson with concrete and steel core in the steel pipe now the well foundation wells and caisson are large diameter foundation the uh, pier and the well foundation and the uh, types of the pier they are they are also called the, the caissons and the piles they also lies in the group of the caisson well foundation uh, you may also call it a well foundation caisson foundation well foundation the same terminology uh, and that's like uh, pile the pile caps so these uh, terminologies are same in a sense Wells in caisson are large diameter foundation adopted in an underwater situation such as the bridge foundation rivers. Caisson are large width foundation which carry the load of the superstructure through a layer of weak soil to the firm stratum at considerable depth. Unlike pile foundation which rarely have diameter greater than 2 meter, caisson can have a width range of from 10 to 30 meters and can be founded at depths of 40 meters or more and above. Caissons are used extensively in the river and marine underwater construction. In particular, they are used as foundations for bridges. Well, foundation or caisson, the same thing. Caissons are usually prefabricated above the ground level and above the water level and sunk to the bearing level as one single unit. So this is it for today. Hope you will have learned something about the pile groups, capacity of the pile, vertically loaded pile, the piers, the well foundation, types of them. 
and in the next class uh, inshallah we will learn about the proportioning of the pile cap function of piles and their use is negative simplexion downgrade so thank you so much if you have any question regarding today's lectures you can ask that into the sewer portal uh, and thank you so much take care